Hi guys, it's GQber. It's been a long time since the last tutorial video. I don't make a lot of tutorial videos nowadays because I'm busy on my Twitch channel. You can watch me there almost every day. Visit my website gqber.com for more information regarding my streams, SES giveaways, and online competitions. Today, um, I'm back with a new tutorial video that will surely be very useful for both cubers and non-cubers. If you're looking for the easiest way to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube or if you just want to know the easiest way to teach how to solve a Rubik's Cube to someone, you're on the right channel. So first of all, we have to get our tutorial cube here. As you can see, it's bigger than an ordinary Rubik's Cube. So it's made uh, for educational purposes. That's why it's big, so that it will be easier to see the pieces move. So as promised on the title of this video, I will be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube using only four moves. And we're about to learn those four moves now. So those four moves are also known to cubers as the sexy move. And there are only four moves to do that. And I'm going to use uh, the simple notation to remember it. Most cubers will use some letters to identify the moves, but I will just use an easy way to understand it or to remember it. So this is how you do the sexy move. Up, left, down, right. That's it. I will do it one more time. Up, left of this top, down, right. So if you do it, a couple more times it will be like this up left down right up left down right up left down right up left down right so the rubik's cube will be back to its solved state i hope you remember that because we will be using that move a lot in this tutorial <laughs> so first of all let's scramble this rubik's cube and we will be learning the first and probably the most difficult part of this tutorial that is making the white cross so when you make the right cross you have to make the cross such that the blue will be before the orange or the, the blue is next to orange and orange is next to green green is next to red and as you can see orange will be opposite red green will be opposite green you have to put them in exactly this way because you have to align the colors the side colors to the centers of the four sides of the rubik's cube so all you have to do is just move the white pieces like that connect it to the white center then you have to move another white piece but you have to put it on the side where it should be so we know that before green it should be orange so we will have to put orange there and before uh, opposite blue uh, opposite green is blue so we will have to put blue there and opposite the orange it should be red so they should be in order so that they will align on the centers of the Rubik's Cube. So we have blue, orange, green, red. Just remember them and you have to solve them in the right order. Now that we got rid of the most difficult part of the tutorial, let's go to our uh, first part or the easy part of the tutorial and that is to put these corners here. So as you can see for the white color or white side, we are missing four corners. So we will have to put those corners, but not just any corners. We want to put the right corners. So all you have to do is first look for any corner piece. So I found this one. Um, it's the white corner piece with the blue and orange. So every corner piece has three colors. This one happens to have the blue and orange aside from the white one. So what you have to do is look for the blue orange centers we have them here orange and blue and we want to put this piece that we want to solve on top of the blue and orange because this piece should belong here should go here so that's the that's the most difficult part you just have to put it on top just on top of the place where it should belong okay in, in this case it's orange and blue so we put it in the middle of orange and blue and then we will do our sexy move. So you just have to repeat it until this piece, the white piece, will go here on its proper place. So let's do that. First sexy move, up, left, 
down, right? It's not solved. So we will do it again. Up, left, down, right. Still not solved. Up, left, down, right. And I guess it's solved. So we will stop there. We will move to our next piece, next corner. So let's look for another corner. We have here uh, a white corner with the green and red. So luckily, it's already in the middle of the green and red. If it's not, we can move it around just by rotating this top layer. And we can put it on in the middle of the green and red. So since it's already there, we will do our sexy move. First sexy move, up, left, down, right. And luckily, it's already solved with just one sexy move. So you just have to repeat it until it will be solved. Okay, so let's look for another corner piece. We have this white, blue, red, and we have to put it on top of its location, which is in the middle of the blue, red. So white, blue, red, and in the middle of blue, red, it should belong here. So let's do our sexy move. Up, left, down, right. It's not fixed. So let's try it again. Up, left, down, right. Still not fixed. Let's do it again up left down right and luckily not luckily it should be solved after repeating it many times it will surely be solved so we got our third corner piece we're looking for the last one and luckily we found it here so again what we have to do is we have to put it on or in the middle of its two colors it's green and orange this time so we have to look for green and orange here we go green and orange and it's on top and it should belong here so we will do sexy move again, up, left, down, right. And now we have solved our first layer. Now let's move on to our next layer, the second layer. So you will know that the pieces on the second layer are pieces on the second layer if they don't have a color yellow. Yeah, because all pieces with color yellow belong to the last layer. Yeah, so if it doesn't have a color yellow, it definitely belongs to the second layer. Let's find a piece without a yellow, which is this one. So orange and green. So let's move this to the middle of orange and green, just like what we did with the uh, with the corners earlier. Okay, so orange and green over there. So from this point, we have to identify what is the color of the piece or yeah, what is the color facing us? So if it's orange, we will align it with orange like that. If it's green, we will align it with green. But this time it's orange. So this is kindergarten uh, exercise. We will align it with orange. And now our first step is to move this down. So we will move this down like that. The, uh, this slice, nothing else will move. Only this slice going down like that. Mm -hmm. So remember, we move it down. And now we will do, of course, sexy move. So up, right down oh no up left down right so we did it once and then we will undo what we did earlier so we will move this up right now mm -hmm. okay so after doing that we will have to do five sexy moves but you don't need to count just do it again and again until this one goes back here so i will count five sexy moves up left down right that is one up left down right that is two up left down right that is three up, left, down, right. That is four. Up, left, down, right. That is five. We just uh, put this back here and we have fixed this edge. So we will do the same thing for the other edges. Okay. So let's look for an edge without a yellow. This one. So it's red and green. We have to put it in the middle of red and green like that. And since it's red, we will have to put it on the red or on top of the red. So basically from this point, we will just do the opposite of what we did earlier. It's the left sexy move. But I haven't taught you how to do the left sexy move, so we will not do that. I will teach you something else. So since it's on the left, earlier it was on the right. So we just had to move this down, right? We will move this center down and then do a sexy move. But this time, nope. We, it's on the left, so we will move this side down, okay? So we move that side down and we do, guess what? <laughs> it's sexy move, okay. So up, left, down, right. Only one sexy move and we will move this back up. So you remember that from earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after that, we can do, uh, since it's already here, 
So I think this is very familiar. Now it's green and it's located on the right side. So this is the same as what, what we did earlier. We will move this down first. And then we will do another sexy move. Up, left, down, right. And we will undo what we did in the center. And now the five sexy moves is like uh, just like earlier. If you if you get confused there, just rewind the video and you can watch it again. So five sexy moves. Up, left, down, right. That's one. Up, left, down, right. That's two. Up, left, down, right. That's three. Up, left, down, right. That's four. And up, left, down, right. That's five sexy moves. And we fixed this side already. The red and green. So it will be the same for the next steps. Uh, let's look for one without yellow. We have this. And since, since it's on the right already, we will align it with blue. And since it's on the right already, we will just move this down. And then do one sexy move. Up, left, down, right. And we will move this up. Okay, so from that point, we will do five sexy moves again. That's a lot. I know, but this is the easiest, not the fastest way. Okay. Up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right. And that is the fifth. So we solved all uh, second layer edges. And that means we have solved the entire second layer. So if you didn't get that, just rewind the video, watch it again, and I'm sure you will get it. So in order to solve the last layer, the first thing that you have to do is to make the cross well there are other ways but for this tutorial we have to make the cross first okay and in order to make the cross uh there are two possibilities actually three possibilities um i have some cubes here so it's possible that there uh the missing pieces of the cross but anyway, disregard these corner pieces don't mind them uh just imagine them as colorless pieces right now so just focus on the cross and it's possible that the two pieces uh the two pieces that are missing are opposite or the two pieces that are missing are adjacent or all the pieces are missing. So if all of the pieces are missing and you just do whatever I'm going to teach you. Okay. But if uh, the pieces that are missing are opposite, so you have to hold the cube like this, not like this. It should be like this up and down. And if the pieces that uh, you, uh, the pieces that are missing are adjacent, hold the cube like this. They should be on the right and the bottom. Not like that, not like that, and definitely not like that. Should be like this, right and bottom. This time, we have this case wherein they are opposite. So we will not hold it like this or like this. We can hold it this way or this way. We can disregard these corners. We don't care about them yet. Okay, so what we have to do now is something that we already did earlier so we will just move uh this side down temporarily we will just move that down and we will do guess what <laughs> yes it's sexy move okay so let's do that sexy move by the way i just want to remind you that we move this piece down temporarily okay move this piece down temporarily and then we will do a sexy move up left down right and we will put back the piece that we removed earlier and that's it okay so just in case um you will get this case wherein our missing parts or missing pieces are adjacent you will do the same thing yeah but i guess you will have to do it two times yeah so you will hold it like this not like this not like this not like this hold it this way right and left missing part should be right and left and then we will move this down and we will do sexy move so up left down right and we will move it up as you can see you will have a familiar pattern the one earlier so we will move this down again up left down right that sexy move by the way in case you haven't noticed yet and yeah there we go we have a fixed cross yeah so maybe you are asking what will happen if all the pieces are not fixed so just do it anyway just anywhere so move this down and then uh sexy move up left down right so you will get this case that we had earlier so if you do it again move this down up left down right and then you will get this piece and then move this down sexy move 
And there you go. So you can have a solved piece. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the last part. I said the last part. This will not solve cube, the, the whole cube yet. But is, this is the last part that I can teach you using sexy move. So what we're going to do is that we are going to move our Rubik's Cube like this. Upside down. So now we are facing white and yellow will be bottom. Okay. So what we're going to do is we want to fix these corners. So we are lucky now that we have two solved corners and two messed up corners. Yeah, but no matter what the case is, you just have to do what I'm going to teach you next. Okay, so move the cube upside down like this. Okay, and then you have to put any wrong piece here on this spot. So this is not wrong. So we don't want that to be there. We just want the wrong pieces. This one can be there or this one can be there. Just either of them, okay? So what you have to do is just choose. Um, let's choose a random. Uh, let's say I, I'm going to choose this one. So what you're going to do is to do, guess what? <laughs> Sexy move until this yellow part will be facing down. Until it will be fixed, in short. So I don't know how many times it will depend on the case. So we'll, you will just have to do it again and again. So let's do that. One, oh no, I'm going to do... The, the same thing earlier up left down right it's not fixed up left down right it's not fixed up left down right not fixed up left down right it's fixed so take note once it's fixed you have to switch it with another uh, piece that is wrong because this is already fixed we don't want to move that anymore so we have another piece here that is wrong it's at the back it's this one so we will continue doing sexy move until this uh, this piece gets fixed. So up, left, down, right, it's not fixed. Up, left, down, right, it's fixed. And don't worry because the first two layers are still fixed. So for the last layer, uh, there are many moves to consider in solving the last layer. So for the part two of this video, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to solve the last layer without memorizing a lot of things. The easiest way, I promise you. So if you would like to watch the part two of this video, please subscribe now and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Happy Cubing.